this is Lauren from Mama Says, where I talk about tips, tricks, and products that make parenting life a little bit easier. Today, I'm talking about um, some DIY activity boxes for your baby or toddler. We are current, at the time of filming, we are deep in quarantine life. And so this has been really helpful to add a little variety to the toys my son plays with. And also, we usually keep most of his toys in his room. And so if I'm doing something in the kitchen or, you know, really, really, if I'm doing something in the kitchen um, and I need him to be distracted and play by himself, these boxes have really come in handy. So I am showing you three different ones today. They have three different sort of themes. And I tried to use products that you might already have lying around the house or ones that are really cheap, like that you get from the dollar store or Walmart. So the first box is the pom-pom box. And so this box really is a lot of stuff from around the kitchen plus pom-poms. So we have measuring cups that he likes to scoop the pom-poms with. I have the um, measuring spoons, same sort of idea. I had an old ice cube tray and sometimes he likes to just place them in here or I'll place them in here. I also have a funnel and these ones are fun because you could, depending on the size, you can kind of push them through and he likes doing that. There's also a whisk and a spoon that he likes to stir around. Sometimes I'll give him a mixing bowl or an old pot and we call it pom-pom soup. He loves making pom-pom soup where he just like stirs around <laughs> the different pom-poms and he might take them out and put them in one of the cups or something. But this might be one of his favorite boxes. He definitely uses it a lot. What I did, I purchased a variety pack of pom-poms, so it came in different sizes, but I took out the really small ones. So he's kind of over the stage where he puts everything in his mouth, but still every now and then he might get a little curious and try to do that. So I do recommend still having some sort of supervision on your child while they play with this. And that's another reason why I took out the really small ones. So at least if he had the bigger ones and he tried to put it in his mouth, I could definitely see that he was doing that. All right, so first activity box is the pom-pom box, where again, it's just pom-poms and lots of random things from the kitchen. The second box, so this is, I call it the posting box. So posting is a new word I learned the other day, and it's the activity that little kids do where they take something and they put it into a slot of some kind. That is called posting, and my son loves doing that. So, I have two different containers. He's coming in. <laughs> Hi. Are you going to play with these? So two different containers, both from the dollar store, but you could also use any old container you have. <laughs> um, so for example, I have an, a, some cornstarch that is about to run out and I'm going to use that container for a similar sort of situation. So anyway, I poked holes in the top of them. The first one is for popsicle. Do you want to play with some of these? for popsicle sticks. So there's a little hole on the top and he can just, you know, put the popsicle sticks in this all day. And then the other one I have is random lids that I have collected. So some are lids from milk, some are lids from water, some are from little pouches. And so this one is a bigger hole that you can just put the lids in. Pretty simple. I also in this box have old paper towel rolls, old toilet paper rolls, and some ping pong balls um, because he also likes to sometimes put ping pong balls in here and sometimes he'll dump everything out of one of these jars and just play with the ping pong balls with that. And see again, random stuff you have around the house. And I have some old spice jars that I put lids in also that's fun to shake. He can open up this part. I sometimes open up this for him and he can put more lids in or play with it going on and off. So this box is really all about, yeah, here you go. This box is really all about posting and being able to take things on and off or put things in and out something of something. Another popular box with my son. And another thing, I didn't really actually talk too much about the actual boxes that these are in. So this is a Sterilite container from Target. And I like this one because it has these latches on the side. So it's very firmly in place so when I'm all done with everything and I stack them up it doesn't if I knock it over by accident it doesn't all fall out I have to pick up more things than usual so I like that it has a secure um, secure lid and it's the perfect size for these sort of 
um, DIY boxes we're doing. All right, the last box, this is the, I call it the Easter box because it's filled with stuff we used during Easter. So I have an old egg carton that I washed out and inside are all these Easter eggs. Um, yeah, here you go. So inside each Easter egg is a pom-pom. And what we did for Easter this year is we made them into little chicks. So the eyes are just white paper cut into dots with um, black Sharpie as the, the, like, the pupils. And then, <laughs> then the nose and the little feet are made of orange foam. So yeah, pretty easy to make. All of them have little chicks in them and my son just loves opening them and taking the little chicks out, putting them back in. And, um, and then he'll, oops, and then he'll sometimes put them into the, the egg carton too. But his favorite part is definitely opening these and taking out the pom-poms. So he loves doing that. And then sometimes again, I'll give him a spoon and he'll mix it together all the eggs in the container or mix together the pom-poms. He really likes mixing. And then I had three large eggs. The third one went missing as of this morning. But I had three large eggs. These are from Target. And do you need to have a pom-pom in here? Here it is. Here you go. And these are these little wind-up chicks that I got from Amazon for Easter. And they're fun because they wind up. And then you put them on the ground. Usually it has to be here. Sometimes I put on the lid like, lid like this. And they just run. And... <laughs> My son just thinks it's the most fun thing, and he, yeah, I do love to tackle the chicks when they're running, when they're running away. Um, so again, so the chicks, first of all, are pretty a fun addition to the box, but also, again, he loves putting things in things, so he also loves just putting them in their little eggs or taking them out again. So a lot of these boxes really are about mixing, putting things in and out of things, taking things apart, but I tried to curate them so they had some sort of cohesive theme. So again, I had the Easter box, I have the posting box, and the pom-pom box. So I hope this helps you come up with some extra activities for your children or keep them entertained while you're doing some necessary things around the house. I linked um, the contents of the box in the description below, and if you have any questions, please comment and consider subscribing. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day.